All right, here we go. Big desert bouse. What could go wrong? I'll watch death beat this bed and then I'll go to boss. Can I skip this? That's right, we already tried to skip it once. <laughs> the more I hear this song, the more it sounds like the most stereotypical boss music ever conceived. Sounds good, but it's so like. Oh, he's a kimp winner, Rana. Vana, who sees the contract fiend? She says they're no match. We've got company. <laughs> Deploy the bongo hands. God, Yuna just yeeted in again. Holding on to that item for quite a while. Nah, I should have just gone in the middle. This buff doesn't matter. Not my MP! debuff that that attack puts on you is pretty annoying. Gotta make sure the elixir goes off first. Yeah, this is pretty perfect. You just got everything. You just got an elixir. We're ready to rock. much HP she gets. No! You've got this game. This game. <laughs> what a joke. Okay, that's it. I expected more. I've got this one covered. All right. So let's see here. Let's try Flare just to see what happens. Uh, kind 
kinda sucks. The right has like all the stuff on one of these. Mirror pedals first. All the moves in the special dress sphere take so long. No! I was just casting the flat. Catch how much damage this did. Use it again. Ah, oh, that might hurt. Wait, seriously? Like to the main body, it did nothing. It did some damage. Not a lot, though. Play Great Will. Oh, it, it just hit the right side at while. Wow. It's taking me too long to get set up. I'm going to be dead before I get everything I want. I need protect for her for the big move. Holy crap, look at this. Okay. I think we're gonna use that. Crap. Please don't kill left. I mean left is the least useful, but oh my god. How did that do so much damage? It didn't do nearly as much damage to my party. Well, there went that idea. Like, it's physical damage. At least I almost had him dead. <laughs> that was so close. We're playing all the original versions of all the games, Orson. You can type exclamation mark Fantathon into the chat for more info. Let's go in triple. I think maybe, well, here's the thing. I, I don't, getting other dress spheres is not gonna help. I either need to protect my regular party from ailments or make Yuna's dress sphere work. But as soon as I get confused, it's over. So I could go find some items that protect against Confuse. Or I can try to make... You know work. I have this one at least. Oh, I have four of these. I could try this. I'm still gonna 
try it. I really want to make Yuna's thing work, but I just don't think it's going to happen. And even if it does work, she was not doing much damage. I don't think any of her abilities make her do more damage, do they? You can lower the enemy's defense, so that might... Help. Hold on, I want to try one more time. I'm gonna keep the, the quick dress sphere on and just go right into it. And then I'm gonna cast Ronald right away. And then immediately protect. Although I, I have to go reflect first. So reflect, reflect, Ronald, protect. I just wanna see if she can survive. Yo, Anonymous, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you very much. Viertus, you're one month away from a year now. Oh, he's a kimp wiener rana. Van a who seedler von drek fiend. She says they're no And if this doesn't work, then I'll probably go get Dark Knight, because everyone says that's broken. We've got company. And then level up Dark Knight and Lady Luck, because those are the two that people say are broken. But I want to see if I can make this work, so it'd be cool. I'm sure on a higher level it'd probably work better, but more than level like 50. Everyone, be careful! Everyone, be careful! But the problem is, I have to get Dark Knight and then I have to level it up too, so it's going to take a while. We don't have a while. Two. 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 How's it going, side pick? So going right into the special dress sphere will have a bit of a benefit. Because he won't be like set up. Um, I'm gonna have less HP, but it doesn't really matter. I need to get enough HP for Ronald to keep us alive pretty much. It doesn't matter how much max HP I have. I mention I hate this game, or did I? Did I mention that yet? I forget if I mentioned that yet. <laughs> Not only does he hit that move the second I transform, but like every hit hits Yuna. A great video game. That's not the video game's fault. That's my luck's fault. Ah, Resident Evil. I don't understand how the camera is so bad in this game. I can remember like one, maybe two instances where in Final Fantasy X you're running a certain direction and the camera changes and it like screws your angle. But it happens constantly in this game. And it's the same field. Like I don't understand, maybe. I don't know, I don't know why. I feel it so much more in this one. Nadala! Oh, he's a kimp wiener rana. Vana who seedler von Drek fiend. She is just the worst 
This is the worst no match. voice acting line. <laughs> We're all gonna die. It's a big fiend. We've we can't stop him. What are we gonna do? Oh my god, the drama. At least we got to see Bongo hands again, yeah. That's where you're wrong, Trev. I would never. Nothing a little hack and slash will fix. I would never cut Cheer up! the clip just to go to the part where I won. I would instead cut to a clip where someone else won. That's the real play. Shotgun, thank you for the four years! Appreciate you and all the entertainment you bring. By the way, I hated this boss fight with a passion. Thank you, Shotgun. I appreciate it. Oh, great. At least he didn't use it right when I transformed. He used it before I transformed. It's actually fine. You should survive. It just sucks because Yuna's going to have less health. But maybe this will work in our favor. Oh, God. She has no health. If only you could use items. This would be like... Alright, so... I need to use mirror first, unfortunately. Because if Yuna gets flared, we're dead. Now I can use Ronald. We're lucky. This will kill the side dude. Yeah, I think it did. So that'll help us out a bit with health. Even though that's the one that does the least amount of damage. Nice. Got the flare himself. start doing this. We get enough of these off. We should be safe, hopefully. What's up, Cheddar? What's up, Limit? What's up, Seamark? Good, 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 good. Oh shoot. I just realized Tough Nuts is only protect, it's not a buff. That's not good. I don't think we can survive then. Even with protect, the unit takes too much damage. White Pollen. I gotta get lucky. Like, I, I just gotta get lucky and hope that he doesn't use that attack until I have, like, full health. Which is gonna take a while because I only heal 800. Ooh, I could use Stick. We just. We really don't do much damage. I 
only meaningful damage we do is when he flares us. That might sucks too, because it can't be reflected. It only does a grand. There's no way. Even if we even if we can survive. Which we can't. Absolutely no shot. Yeah, we're done. I don't know why, but for some reason, this does over a thousand damage super attack. I guess maybe Yuna's special thing just has like no defense. Let me reset. Yeah, maybe, maybe because her special dress sphere is like the magic casting dress sphere. Maybe it just has no defense. Does that move just blast her? I don't think so. I, I think it's. I think it's just a lot of physical damage. That's 61 defense. That's... Not... I mean, it's stronger than pretty much everything else but Warrior. Alright, um... If I equip the confusion accessories, I feel like we can win this. But I feel like it's gonna take forever. Because my only real damage dealer is Pain, and she really doesn't do that much damage. Um, so I think we should do a little bit more grinding, and I think I should go get the Dark Nut. So where where's Dark Nut? Go ahead and tell me, chat. Go grab it. Go grab Dark Nut. And then I can grind Dark Nut while I grind Lady Rock with Yuna and Riku, and then they both have a lot of damage. Actually, maybe just Riku, because Yuna will probably have to stick with White Mage. The Vel Underground near the end. It's in that one chest. Got it. <laughs> By the way, is this game just like unplayable without the um, what's it called the? Charm Bangle. Because I got a Charm Bangle really early, and I feel like if I didn't get it, half this game would have been completely unplayable. There's a ribbon down here, too? Where? Is it close to where Dark Nut is? I could give that to Pain, and then she could probably solo. You need a break from the repetitive boss music, but you didn't like Bill it! Bill it! Bill it! Bill it! Bill it! Bill Bill it! The old inception music. Okay, wait, do I gotta go press the switch?
Yo, good to see a call. Okay, wait, I think we're good. I play that music when I'm making an omelet in the morning. <laughs> like flip it every time. Bill it. Bill it. Bet. Bill it. intense breakfast I've ever made. Am I going the right way? I think this is... Oh wait, there's a new chest. Oh wait, it all sucks. Oh great, ten potions! I'm so excited. Potions. Ooh. Yo, chatter, they give the gifted sub, man. Appreciate it a lot. I thought maybe I wasn't supposed to take that second elevator. I think I wasn't supposed to take that second elevator. This is so stupid, by the way. Why can why can we just run on this? The whole the whole idea of this puzzle is that you can't run on this, and then in this game they're just like, yeah, you can run on it. We just didn't feel like programming it, so now you can just run on it. Like, does this not just kind of like break the whole idea of the whole thing? Okay. When you said Bevel Underground, do you mean through the hole? Do I have to go down the hole? I have to go down the hole, right? Yeah. But then how do I get down there? No, I would rather them just not have that room. But they were running out of ideas and they needed more in Bevel, so they were like, alright, just run around in the puzzle. Instead of, like, making a new room. There we go. You can't even, like, see that chain there. Why couldn't they move the camera so you could see the chain? Alright, so you said the ribbon is in this room somewhere? Where's, where's the ribbon at? You have to complete a second puzzle. Oh no. Do I want to do that? That sounds. That sounds not fun. Rotate the platforms. Is there like a certain way I have to rotate it? Or do, do I just have to fight a bunch of bosses again? Penny! Penny! Dr. P is in the house! Stop that. Penny! Oh, 
doing big damage. Once you activate all three blue towers, activate one of the red towers to pop out a platform. Extrapolate the angle of descent and activate the blue tower you started at to move the platform you just generated. Keep doing this until it's lined up with the other platforms. Do the same with the other two red towers. Activate one. Activate the initial blue tower until the new platform is in line. Then repeat. What? kind of understood what that meant, but I that doesn't tell me which one because I already have some of the platforms out, so I don't I don't know which one goes to which platform. This like I I can't there's no way. There's no way I'm doing this in any reasonable amount of time. I already have these platforms out, so like to try to figure out which one correlates to which platform and then move them into the right spot would take forever <laughs> I'm guessing you have to do like a big spiral right so like that one down there needs to be there Let me, let me try, okay? Okay, that did nothing. That's good news. So you just stared at it and then teleported. Excellent. I think because the red ones make them spawn. I already have them all spawn. So this is the dumbest garbage ever. Why is this guy here? How is he floating? I just wanted this boss in here somewhere, huh? He also does nothing that the regular boss did. He just cast thunder. What a cool boss. Sure, it's not that. Like, if it's just in a chest down here, I should be able to find it. Unless it takes the quadratic formula. Which, given this game, it might. There's no rules in Final Charlie's Finest Fantasy Angel. It takes so long because it's a boss and you have to wait for it to die. This area looks like the inside of a Beyblade. What did that move? Nothing moved! I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I don't even know what that move. Maybe, maybe that was one of the ones that are is already in place, so it like just didn't move. I don't know. I I don't want to waste our time. Sorry. It's gonna be a giant waste of our time fighting the same bosses a hundred times. Dude, what if it was this chest? I've opened this chest like three times now.
Alright, just let me know if I miss it. The lowest one moved? False. Unless it was completely off screen. Oh, I remember. I remember what chest. Thank you for the quadratic formula. I might need that later. Let's go, Ace. to jump on this. <laughs> I remember jumping on this. Wait, do I go this way? Jump on that other one? Oh, this looks right. Stand on this for some reason. Yep, it was my birthday on Tuesday. We had a fun birthday stream. Played a bunch of games from my childhood. A bunch of Flash games from my childhood. It was really fun. And we played Boulder Skate. Okay, this is it, right? I really have to read a guide, you can't just tell me how to get it. It's that complicated. Let's see. Oh my god, it's a whole PDF. I'm reading a PDF to figure out how to get this guide. Age 85. Excellent. Bell it. Bell it. Bet. Bell it. Bell it. Bet. Bum. 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 Bum, bum. You eventually reach a platform where three t transporters are docked. First, use either one on the side facing transporters. Ride the transporter down to the labyrinth. Go to the lower edge of the screen. Do not climb up on the stone platform, and from there, jump down. You will arrive back at the two remaining transporters. Use the transporter in the middle to go up. You will see a platform. Okay, we gotta go back. Go to the lower edge of the screen. Do not climb up on the stone platform. And from there, jump down. You will see a platform. Or no, use the transporter in the middle to go up. You will see a platform, climb onto it. supposed to do something and it didn't do anything. 
Use the other transporter and ride it down. Go to the opposite side, do not climb onto the stone platform and use the transporter that you had used previously to go back up. Which is hidden off screen because video game. Use the transporter in the middle again. Step onto the stone platform again. So you just had to ride this middle platform when there was this one available and that one available. You had to ride the middle platform because it took you somewhere different. But there's no indication it does that because the game just goes to black and then puts you where you are. This game sucks. <laughs> like maybe if you saw the platform go to the left and go to the right, then it would make more sense. But it just fades to black because they didn't want to animate it. We did it! Beat a boop, beat a boop, beat a boop, beat. I love how every time I go in here, that thing's just freaking out. I was gonna grind in the final dungeon, but there's no real good way to get there, is there? Like, no fast way to get there. So I guess I'll just stay in Mount Gagza. Pain using Valiant Luster. Ooh, it's a skull. Spooky. Fight with a sword and use magical arts known as Arcana. Doesn't really sound that broken. Wonder what's broken about it. Sacrifice HP to damage all enemies. Absorb HP, demi, bio, Aaron. Sacrifice life to heavily damage an important enemy. Guards against poison. Guards against curse. Nothing too crazy yet. I never did check to see if uh, this whole... Getting all of one's desires at twice the speed. I don't know if that affects everyone or just the person that has it. I think for now I'll put it on pain just in case it only affects her. ignores defense and magic defense. That's good to know. Go Salem! Thank you so much for the five months, man. Good morning. Well, at least pain looks cool. Check out the transformation, because why not? <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, should we see everyone? Yeah, I saw some comments about catnip. I don't know what that's about. It's probably not something I can get, is it? Wait, does she have the Mazaboon? I don't know why Riku gets it, but that's cool. Darkness is my ally. Those who cross me shall know its wrath. Okay, calm down, Pain. Bear this darkness into battle. My suffering becomes my what, what is her? How is she holding that weapon? So wait. Riku gets the Mazamoon and Yuna gets the Kalad Bold. Is this supposed to be like the ultimate? Dress sphere? Because it didn't come across that way, and like when I read it, it was just like, oh, another warrior. But seeing as though they both have ultimate weapons, and Pain has like a spiky version of her warrior weapon, it feels like this is supposed to be a super strong dress sphere. Also, the stats are kind of wild. It's like, oh my god, the stats are wild. It's better than Warrior in every way. More strength, more defense, more magic, way more magic defense. The only thing it isn't, it's a bit slower. Right? Yeah, I know Mascot is like the ultimate dress sphere, but like... I didn't realize Dark Knight was that, like, supposed to be that much stronger than everything else. Like, it's a, a middle ground bef between everything else and Mascot, dude. Speaking of which, can I get Mascot in a reasonable amount of time? Because I wanted to get Mascot just to show it off. So I need to look back at what you guys said about um, catnip. So I was looking at the dark knights. And Clark said I can get it. stuff to get it. Darn. We'll get it during the trophy quest. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I'm pretty far away from it. So how do you get catnip? And why is it the thing? <laughs>
go to your local pet shop. You have to get to level 40 and... You know, okay, well, I was gonna... Try to go there just to see what... Like, after I beat this boss, that was my next thing I was gonna do. I don't know how far I can get, though. Big uh, money, big money. I'm only level 50. Your favorite bonus dungeon in the franchise? Nice. I remember it being cool. Uh, it's not very cool the first time you go down there, because the first nine floors are free and then you get blasted on the tenth floor, which is weird. But maybe I only got blasted because I got hit by that enemy. Like, maybe the idea was you're supposed to dodge it. Kind of like the enemy in the final dungeon that blasts you if you don't do the puzzle right. Kozan! Thank you so much for the resub. I think I was supposed to dodge him. It really doesn't hurt you that much. I could get used to this. as fast as I can. Also, she has 6,000 HP, and I don't have the double HP equipment on her. What the garbage? So Pain's just gonna have max HP. Double all gives you double HP, okay. I was gonna say, what in the world? Oh, double sixes. Peace. I don't know what my favorite dungeon in the series is. North Crater is definitely a good shout. I think one of my favorite experiences with the final dungeon was doing uh, North Crater in Scavenger Mod. Slightly biased because I created it, but yeah, that was like such an experience. Wimp. What goes around comes around. But, like, casually, first time through, what's my favorite dungeon? Nice work! You know what? <laughs> Sounds kind of silly, but you know what dungeon I actually really liked? I liked the final dungeon in Final Fantasy 1. Remember when, like, it had, like, pretty much enemies from every area in the whole game, and as you went deeper, you got to, like, different sections of the game, and then at the end of each section was one of the four main elemental bosses, but, like, a remixed version of them? That was honestly pretty cool, especially for the first game. They really put some thought into the final dungeon and not just like, okay, this is the hardest dungeon. And then on top of that, Final Fantasy 1, in general, had a good like balance where you actually had to go into the dungeons with items or else you, because you didn't just get save points that fully healed you. 
So you had to like really think about your uh, your items and your health going in. So I don't know, that, that dungeon was actually really cool. Final Fantasy 3's final dungeon was good in concept, but like three hours too long. <laughs> it could have been a fourth of the length, but it still would have been fine. Dungeon was so long. This just straight up kills you. I'm sure it does, right? Let's see what kind of damage it does. I would imagine it does some really high damage, but it would probably be better just to buff and use darkness instead of killing yourself over and over. Losing your buffs. Come get some. Pain gets all the good lines. Pain gets all the good lines. Well, get some better lines. <laughs> oh my god. They really just copied the animation from Kamari's self destruct. Probably the goofiest frickin' animation of all time. Just runs into it. Ooh, double six. Well, that move's definitely not worth it. I didn't realize it removes you, too. It is literally self-destruct from 10. Classic. I am going to go explode now. And then pain blew up. Don't worry, everything that happens in the fights is canon. That move proves it. How's it going, Trez? Like, I mean, they could have at least had her, like, charge up with dark magic or something to fit the fit the dress here, but nope. She just does the same exact thing Kamari does. Turn red, run straight at the enemy, and explode. You like the music? I do and I don't. I really like the Asian-inspired songs, and the boss music is good, but a bit simple, I guess. And some of the songs feel a bit simple, like we noticed multiple songs that use sound effects that are like pretty common in other games. But overall, it was good. My only complaint is that the regular battle music gets a bit grating after a while, and I think it's just because it has a lot of guitar in it, and guitar tends to be grating after a while. He's a king. But it's not bad by any means. I think the music in this game is pretty good. And then, I also have to mention that the piano soundtrack in this game is incredible, and two of the piano songs are my favorite piano tracks of all time. And I've listened to a lot of piano. So I do have to throw that out there. This game gets an unbelievable amount of praise from me for its piano soundtrack. 
I think yeah, I think all the versions of a thousand words was good. Even the sing the singing version I like it. Yes, uh, Eternity or Memories of Light Waves. The piano version is my favorite piano piece of all time. Bar none, favorite piece. A thousand words a second. But Eternity is my favorite. Ooh, what's I gonna do? I mean, Stone Proof is neat, but I want more attacks, please? I mean, I'm thinking what I do is I go Samurai and I use my buff and then I switch to Dark Knight and I just spam Darkness. That's that's kind of the, the play that I'm thinking right now. And then I just set Yuna the white mage and just spam heals, and then Riku can just roll with Lady Luck. That's my thought process. Then I equip everyone with anti confuse and have a ball. Are you learning anything cool yet? Item reels. Where's, where's fun stuff? I feel like Lady Luck is really strong, but just takes too long to get the abilities. All the abilities take like a million AP. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm trying to learn all the attacks. Duck suit? How's it going, Don Jay? Uh, this is part of Phantathon, which is a quest we've been on for about two years now, where we're playing the original version of every single game. You can type exclamation mark Phantathon in the chat for more info. But that's the reason we're playing the original. We will be playing the remaster in a little while, and I'll be getting 100% in it as well. Uh, for a different thing we do on the channel called Trophy Quest. But for Pandathon, we're playing all the original versions. And just kind of time capsuling them in a way that people can go back and see the original games. Now this is a bonus game, so we're not going as in-depth with this one as we are the others. This game was voted in to the marathon by you guys. But, uh... If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I expect Tactics and 12 to be the longest episodes, or the longest games from here on out. Everything else should be relatively... short-ish? With the exception of maybe 14? Chryso. It's not a question I can answer. Sorry. Oh, I can't watch.
Yeah, it's gonna hurt not playing Zodiac Age. I'll be honest. Because I played a few hours of Zodiac Age, and I just love Zodiac Age so much more. I love what they did with all the mechanics. I think it's so much better. But hey, once we do 12 for Fantathon, I'll never have a reason to go back to it. I can just play Zodiac Age forever. Oh my god, yeah. So I'm like, when I played Final Fantasy 3, or three, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9, I refused to use the times 3 until I had already beaten the game. Um, because, you know, it just feels unfair. Like, it feels like a cheat that you're supposed to unlock, but they just make it unlocked at the start because you've probably already beaten the games. Which is understandable. But I was like, you know, I'm not going to use that. For Zodiac Age? Oh my god. It almost feels like the original game should have had Times 4. Like, it just feels so nice to run through the dungeons at Times 4. Just, I don't know. It, it almost nervous? feels like the original game should have had it. Which is wild, but it really does feel that way. It's just such a better experience <laughs> playing it faster. Here's enough pain to go around. Alright, where are we at? Going, Bemi. Just finished Final Fantasy X 2 HD Remaster two days ago and might start Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age today. I'm playing blind and wanted to ask if you have any non spoilery tips. Nah, man, just enjoy it. 12 is a very open game. You can enjoy it any way you want, and that's kind of the best thing about it is that no one can tell you how to play it. It's very customizable in that way. Um, the only thing I would tell you is. Play the game with the Gambit system, experiment with it, and if you just decide, like, I don't really like the Gambit system, nice work. after experimenting with it, don't quit. Instead, just turn off the Gambit system and play it like a turn-based game. I've heard so many people say, like, ah, I quit because I didn't like the Gambit system. And I'm like, bro, just turn it off, and then it becomes a turn-based RPG. And then you can enjoy it that way. It makes me sad when people say that. But try it. Hopefully you enjoy the Gambit system, because it's really fun. But if it just doesn't gel with you, then just turn it off and play it. Because it's still a good game. Don't quit just because you don't like the Gambit system. But other than that, yeah, just enjoy it. And uh, once you finish the game, you're about 10% done with the game. Because <laughs> it's like all post-game. I, I really do feel like the Gambit system is amazing, but having said that, I completely understand why some people don't like it. It is a very different system, and some people it just doesn't gel with, which I get. But man, like, running through dungeons and just having my party constantly give me buffs without me having to tell them is, like, the greatest feeling ever. Just turning my my teammates into buff bots. It's amazing. You just walk through with all these buffs. Like, yeah, what's up? Yeah, it makes me it makes it like difficult to go back to Kingdom Hearts where you're like, Donald, heal me, Donald, heal me, Donald, Donald, heal me, Donald, please, please, for the love of God, heal me. Donald's like, I got it! cast lightning for the 15th time. Donald, you don't have it. Heal me. <laughs> it's all or nothing. 
I guess there's no choice. Good old Dolan. Anything cool yet? Uh, <laughs> stuff is cool, but not helpful. Yeah, they did a better job with Kingdom Hearts 3. Even Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, I just that. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 1 is just you yelling at Donald the whole game. One of my my favorite things about Kingdom Hearts 2 is that in the original game, Goofy was completely busted. Uh, Goofy Tornado was unbelievably busted. At any point of the fight, you could activate Goofy Tornado and you'd be completely invincible and do an insane amount of damage. And then in, in the Final Mix version, they fixed Goofy Tornado to do way less damage. And then somehow inadvertently completely broke Donald. <laughs> I always found that so funny. Like, they fixed Goofy and broke Donald in the Final Mix. Because in Final Mix, uh, Donald's Comet is completely busted. Does an insane amount of damage and makes you invincible for like 20 seconds. I just found that hilarious that they fixed one Getting and broke nervous? the other. And to be fair, all the limits are really strong because they make you invincible, but. Yeah, it's, it's really funny how much damage Comet does. Like, they, they, it was like quadruple the damage it did in the original. It's almost like, I feel like what happened was they said, okay, a lot of people online are saying that Goofy Tornado is busted, so let's fix it. And one guy was like, okay, I'll nerf it. And the other guy was like, okay, I'll make Donald stronger to compensate. But they both did like their fixes in separate rooms and then they both brought it to the boss and they just approved both or something <laughs> like they meant to do one or the other but they accidentally did both <laughs> that's what i feel like happened because there's no way they didn't realize how much stronger they were making donald and how much weaker they were making Goofy. <laughs> Like, whoops, we put both fixes in. Oh well, ship it. Oh, I can't watch! I see that Mega Man. I have alerts turned off, but I'll do it for you. We're just sitting here. My problem now. Do you guys feel like the abilities should be learned faster in this game? Oh, I can't watch. Like I don't feel like I don't feel like this grind is too bad. I'm able to learn most of the abilities on a dress sphere within like an hour. But given how short this game is and how many dressers there are. 
maybe it's just certain dress spheres. Like, Warrior... Well, Warrior actually took a while, but... Like, Thief took forever. Thief and Lady Luck take a million years, and I don't really understand why. They take so much longer than the others. Like, they should at least be... Maybe balanced a bit better. I mean, I, I spammed Steel for the entire game, and it still took Riku until the end to finally master Thief. I feel like Warrior took a while just because I did a lot of regular attacking with Warrior. Oh, we can't watch. But I spammed Steel all game long, and it still took forever. Like, I think the, the post-game grind isn't that bad. But throughout the game, maybe it could have been a bit better balanced. The, the starting dress spheres shouldn't take that long to master. That way you can move on. If you're if you're someone like me that likes to master stuff before moving on, you can like quickly master those and start working on other ones instead of being stuck with the same sphere for such a long time. And like Gunner mastered really fast. I think. Wait, never mind. I didn't even master Gunner. I just said screw Gunner, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how long Gunner takes. There probably is, yeah. But, you know, you don't always get that on your first playthrough, and if you do, it's probably later anyways. But, like, this grind to master Darknut isn't too bad. Oh, you know, speaking of which, I didn't equip the thing for double encounters. I forgot I had that. I mean, it's not really that helpful. It doesn't take that long to get encounters here, but it would speed this up a little bit. I'm ready for more. She's ready for more. 